Ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to the realization that the Me Too movement is declaring war against black men that is in entertainment and everywhere else or in politics. And I know some of you guys want to come on my channel saying, lies, then that's not true. They, they focus on all, all predators, really? Let's take a look at the list of names, shall we? We look at Bill Cosby, Michael Jackson, Russell Simmons, R. Kelly, Chris Brown, Cuba Gunn Jr., Morgan Freeman, um, and Rick James. That's right, Rick James, people. They This person just came out. And, and this is why I said that this is kind of odd on this case. This reminds you of, of the Bill Cosby case all over again. So this article comes from WKBW in Buffalo. It says, a woman claims that late Rick James, who pioneered the punk funk music craze in the 1970s, raped her in a Buffalo group home when she was 15 years old. According to, according to court documents filed under the Child's Victim Act, the plaintiff claims James, who was born in Buffalo, visited a home on Richmond Avenue where she was living with other teenage girls in 1979. As I was laying on my belly on my bed, Rick James came into my bedroom and swiftly lay on top of me. He grabbed my hair and pushed my head into the pillow. I tried to fight him off, but he told me to shut up and quit moving or I'll cut you. The plaintiff's affidavit states he violently ripped off my underwear and proceeded to violently rape me and ejaculate inside of me. He then threatened me that if I told anyone, he would know here to find me. The woman is seeking damages of $50 million through James' estate. James died in 2004, where, where he is buried in, Fo in Forest Lawn Cemetery in Buffalo. And that is the end of the article. I think the Me Too movement is declaring war on black men who are entertainment politicians or, 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 that's, or black men in general. And here's why. You notice they always bringing up their past, even in death. They never do it in as a, they never done it in white celebrities or white Hollywood. You notice that, right? They keep quiet on that. Like a Harvey Weinstein, like Charlie Rose, Charlie Sheen, Paul Walker, um, Matt Lauer, Dustin Hoffman, um, Woody Allen, um, Elvis Presley, Donald Trump. The list goes on and on, and they never say anything about them, but they always focus on the, focus on black celebrity men that's now been targeted by the Me Too movement. Tawana Burke need to be ashamed of herself because she founded the Me Too movement by allowing white feminists to take over this movement and, and go after every black men's celebrities you can. Now, with Bill Cosby, he is serving 10 years in prison right now over a lie. Over a lie. You got Michael Jackson, who, came, who brought him back. When, he, he's been dead for 10 years. It'll be 11 years in, in, in um, June. But he's been dead for 10 years. And he still bring up these allegations against having sex with boys with James St. Chuck and Wade Robinson, which both of are liars anyway, and they prove they're liars. Then there's R. Kelly, when he was accused of having sex with teenage girls, which, of course, Paul Walker did the same thing, but it was a hush job. Shh, uh, uh, there's nothing to see here, okay? Then there's uh, Russell Simmons. Oprah Winfrey is going to try to do a documentary on Russell Simmons, his allegations, but they closed it down quickly because... Black women refuse to get on camera. Then there's Cuba Gooden Jr. Right? Cuba Gooden Jr. already been accused of so many of women coming out against him. Then there's Chris Brown, who was accused of, of sexual assault on a woman in Paris. Turns out it didn't even turn it turned out that it didn't, didn't even happen. So all these black men that's been listed, Morgan Freeman, another one. That's, you know, but they, they, this has been dismissed on that case. So 
It's proven that the Me Too movement decided to declare war against black men and not going after all of these other men, other men that's doing the same thing that the that quote unquote black men is doing. And they want us to be like we're the face of the Me Too movement as sexual predators, rapists, monsters. You notice each and every time that all these people are coming out, it's like we're the face of it. And now I just, I mean, shouts out to Tariq and Rain and Harvey from Your World. Harvey from Your World, which I didn't even know, saying that Zoe Kravitz, you know Zoe Kravitz? You know, she's the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and um, the Cosby Show, uh, Lisa Bonet, right? So now she come out and attack Michael Jackson. So you got Oprah Winfrey, you got Gail King, and now Zoe Kravitz. You see the pattern, people. You see how, see how this is. They know that they can't go after go after the white um, sexual predators because they're they're pow they're the power that be. They're making more money. They know they don't want to mess with them. We see all the list of people they go after. You know they only go after black men. They make they're making sure that the Me Too movement making making sure that the black men are the face of their movement with the Me Too times up. And look what's going on, people. This is a pattern. And now you got Gail King and Oprah Winfrey who been used by them doing their dirty work. And then now they bring Zoe Kravitz in the mix. See, people, it seems to me that we are at war against the Me Too movement. We are. Because there's so many black men that's now been the face of the Me Too movement. All these accused allegations rape allegations, sexual assault, and not one time they ever talk about Harvey Weinstein, Charlie Rose, Charlie Sheen, um, Matt Lauer. Um, you got Dustin Hoffman. You got Donald Trump. You, you, I mean, you, got all these, you got all these predators. They not talk about them. But yet, you, but yet they want to go after the black man. Now I see their patterns now that... They decided to declare war against us. They want to take every last one of us down. And my question is, who is next? Now, you know, 50 Cent, I'm concerned. The game, I'm concerned. Uh, all these rappers, all these entertainers, all these athletes, I'm very concerned. Because now, since the Me Too movement is going after all these celebrities. And they even went, now, Rick James didn't, haven't been dead for what? Well, since 2004, and all of a sudden, it went all the way back to the 1970s to say they, that woman raped her, raped, that, he, that he raped her when he was, she was 15. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Ray Dong Chong. Now, Ray Dong Chong, uh, and, and you know, the thing of it, they're, they're attacking all, they're, she's also a part of this as well. But Ray Dong Chong... Let's, I don't really want to go there with that. I'm going to leave that alone. But I will say this. They know that, that these women have been assaulted. Why they all waited decades and decades later to say, oh, he he raped me. And they're, and they're dead and gone. But yet you got all these people like Harvey Weinstein, Les Mouvez, um, Charlie Rose, Charlie Sheen. Um, um, like I said, Dustin Hoffman, Woody Allen. Um, all these people that's coming out, um, when, when, and they've been far more worse than these, these these black accusers are. But yet, the black accusers has gone already been the face of the Me Too movement. So, we it seems to me that we are we are at war. And now, black women, I, like I told you before. I hope that you're not sided with these feminists right now and side with us because we it's like they dragging black men under the bus. It's like they decided to declare to declare war against us than against against their white counterparts. And it's 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 true. It's the truth. So this to me, they waited till Rick James. I mean, they've been basically trying to seek fifty million dollars and and then now you, now you waited until decades later to say that Rick James raped me. Wow. He's been dead since 2001. 
I'm sorry, 2004. Let me get it right. 2004. He's been dead since then. He, now you want to, you know, go after his estate. Wow. Y'all let me know what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this line's is signing off. Oh, and all the black celebrities out there, watch your back. Deuces.